guys, what's up? So we're at the uh, the hospital right now. Uh, Kian just went in for her uh, her pH test. Unfortunately, I couldn't go in with her. I would have liked to vlog it. Uh, I'm kind of happy about that because I wasn't sure if I was going to gag and then embarrass myself. So I just saw this chart. This is important to me because I have asthma. And this is like your normal airway, asthmatic airway. And this is an asthmatic airway during an attack. And have asthma out there but it is pretty crazy uh, to deal with and if you want to know what it's like to have an asthma attack you know those coffee stir stick straws grab one of those and try to breathe in and out just through that straw um, and that gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to have an asthma attack it is it's pretty scary I haven't had one in a long 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 time not since I was a little kid but um, not being able to breathe is probably like the scariest thing when you struggle like i used to remember like i would be like like i would use so much effort to try and take it in a breath and i would get it felt like i was getting nothing and it was such a struggle it's tiring and stuff like that anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys just wanted to show you guys kind of the, the sun starting to come up here so the hospital that we're at is kind of on the outskirts of South Calgary, so there's not much beyond here, but it's going to be, it's under development, it will be a lot of stuff eventually, but it's kind of a cool sunrise. Hey, hey. So, Donna looks so pretty. So oh my Kian God. is this done is, with her. This is the new, you know, accessory. It comes with a cute purse. <laughs> so we're about to have some farmer beans with a nice bottle of Chianti. What? <laughs> You don't get you don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> so I told her that she looks like Hannibal Lecter and she's oh. she's never seen Silence of the Lambs. So that's why she doesn't get that. It's a line in the movie. Oh. As a part of of Kia's pH test, uh, the doctor told her to not avoid any of her triggers. She said go all out, go nuts, uh, get acidy. And so today is like a day of bad food yeah but that would suck for me because that basically means that i might have a really bad stomach it's gonna be i'll explain what happened as i choke <laughs> so there's two tests actually so the first one i think is called esophageal motility test and that specific test um looks into how strong or weak your esophageal muscles are so they put a tube bigger than this she says that it's half the size of your nostril so that doesn't sound very big, but when you're putting something down to, into places where they shouldn't be, it, it's not pleasant. Cool. So the way she did it, luckily they had a freezing agent, so it was funny. She had like this gel type freezing agent. She put it in the syringe and then she had me snort it up. Oh, yeah. uh, boy. So I'm like, but it's snorting, snorting, snorting. And the point is that you, you snort it so that it goes up your nose and down your nose. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. When Did you're, it burn? It, t it tastes Because I'm thinking like when you, if you go swimming it, it's, and you get water up yeah, your nose it's and it burns. It doesn't exactly, I don't want to use the word burn with my personal experience, but like it's an uncomfortable feeling, you know, putting something up your nose, snorting something up your nose and swallowing. It mm. sounds so nasty. And so you can kind of see it, you can start to feel it numb your throat. Um, it feels like your, it kind of feels like your throat is like closing up. It's not really, but it's just a sensation. But it's, it starts to feel like it's difficult to swallow. After she did that, she put that tube up my nose and that took a while because she needed to maneuver, find my hole, you know. So that took a long time actually. And to me, I, I felt like I needed to sneeze because of the in and out and her trying to figure out, you know, the way in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I can't control my sip on. I don't know why. Uh, my nose is really runny after putting this in. Anyways, 
after she finds that hole or whatever, she gives she gave me a drink. And the best thing to do is to just listen to your nurse. You know, if anybody has to go through this, listen to what she tells you to do. So when she's down your throat, she says she she tells you to continue continually swallow. So swallow, 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 and she, it will guide her. It'll guide the tube to go down your throat into your stomach. It's supposed to prevent you from from gagging actually, which for the most part during the time that she was putting it down my esophagus, I wasn't gagging, but as soon as I was done swallowing the water, it was all like in place, I gagged so much. I shouldn't say so much, I mean I did, I gagged, I was tearing up, I was like drooling all over the bin that she gave me. She gave me a different drink, an apple juice drink, so basically you swallow and wait for like 10 seconds and then swallow again, wait 10 seconds, and you have to do that about 10 times. And here's the thing, is that you, it is, you know, it's so normal for you to want to swallow when you have like build up of saliva, and that's exactly what happened. It's so hard not to swallow, but you, you cannot swallow, it will ruin the test. And so you swallow the juice, you wait, and it's okay if you're drooling. It's just a part of it, that's exactly what happened to me. I swallowed, I'm just like, <laughs> and like, just let it drool, who cares? Because otherwise you're gonna have to repeat the test. And that's, like a safe and nerd. Yeah, and I, accident, I accidentally swallowed one time when I wasn't supposed to, so I had to do it again. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, it really sucked. She was able to let me know that my, my muscles are weak. Sorry, folks. Just gotta take care of it. So she was able to let me know right away that my muscles are weak, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that. So she removed the tube. Ooh, great relief, and for some reason I was shivering after she did it. I don't know if it was because like I was cold or I was just like, like such a shock with like the experience. I was like shivering after that. She put this in, so this stays on for 24 hours. It's definitely a lot smaller than the first tube, which. It's great, but it's still not the best feeling to have something down your throat. Like, can you feel it? Yeah. I, I read that you can feel it in the I back of your throat. I can feel it, yeah. It's not comfortable. And it comes with um, a monitor. So basically, you're supposed to um, record the times when you eat. And I have a little diary that I need to fill out. So you press this when you start eating. You press this when you stop eating. This is for when you're... Um, standing up versus laying down so even if you're not sleeping if you're just watching TV or something like that as long as you're laying down you're supposed to press this and then of course one two three one is like heartburn two is chest pain and three is regurgitation oh man this sucks daddy daycare I think my nose is like getting irritated from it which is why my nose is running Jeez, it's gonna so, be a rough 24 hours. I know, man. it doesn't feel good, so yeah. But it is, I mean, it's good. I'm, I'm glad because um, so long she's been dealing with like like uncomfortable and pain and this and that. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a short term discomfort, hopefully, for you know, like a diagnosis or some way that, that she can find more long term relief. So this is the first test. It's even uncomfortable to drink water. No wonder why she gave me straws. So let's see. I mean, food's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, does it feel obstructed at all? Yeah. The one thing I forgot to mention earlier was during the uh, motility test, so the first one with a bigger tube, the nurse actually couldn't start the test until I stopped gagging. So that really, really sucked to try to control that. So yeah, so as you guys can see, she taped this on to make sure it's in place she taped it up my neck or not my neck hello what is this my cheek, cheek and then in my neck and she said oh in case the monitor falls this will pull here first and then here before it pulls here i'm like don't talk crazy <laughs> like what are you talking about i'm not dropping this thing that sounds like the most horrible thing you're not supposed to eat or drink anything four hours before the procedure which totally makes sense because if you're gagging, you're expecting to gag because the freezing agent doesn't completely numb you at all. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It helps, but it doesn't completely numb you. Hello, I, I gagged a lot. And um, because if you are gagging, of course, if you had food recently, you're going to be vomiting. And the risk is you choking or that, that um, 
Vomit can go into your lungs actually, so don't do it. Uh, man, this thing isn't focusing. So what happens when you make fun of people? Man. I told you her reaction's I know, pelvic. That was the same way. That was the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, the first one? <laughs> 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 the only time it's quite uncomfortable to eat, actually. I noticed that when I'm eating, it shifts, the tube shifts around a lot, so I really feel the tugging and discomfort. It's been kind of uncomfortable, of course, in the nose area. And then in my throat, I can feel it. And I've also noticed doing a couple movements with my head can cause some discomfort slash slight pains. And every now and then, I can feel, feel like a burning sensation in my nose. If I were to compare it to something maybe similar to like... If you had a sinus issue, because which I do, I have that, and that's something that I can compare it to. It's just funny the way people like try to discreetly stare at me, or they like quickly look at me and then they look back and then they're like, "Oh hey," and I'm like, "You're not really saying hi. You just wanted to see me again." Or and I mean, I I, I don't blame them at all. It's not that I, it bothers me. We just finished having lunch at Shiki Menya. Uh, the way they do it is they hand make their ramen noodles in house. So they only make 150 bowls total for the day. And when those bowls are sold out, then they, then they close. Okay. We usually go on the weekend. And it's usually like a 40, it's a really busy place. Like if you waited like up to 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 50 minutes to an hour Before. just to, just to get in. And uh, it's worth it though, cause it's really good. But today I think we were in there in like 10 minutes. Earlier when we were at the dollar store, it was so funny cause when we were heading to the till, the cashier, <laughs> She went like this, she saw me, and I just kept walking, she goes... <laughs> so you haven't really kissed me in the lips all day today, it's already like almost 4. That's because so. you've been dripping snot you all day. <laughs> You're bogus! <laughs> Come on, try. <laughs> this is probably a better thing. <laughs> Wait, hang on, I got it, hang on. I got it coming from the side. <laughs> I got your tooth. <laughs> <sighs> Yes. She's been doing really good. It's uncomfortable. Have any of you guys ever had any of this? Like, do you guys suffer from acid reflux? Like, no. what are your guys' experience? No, we haven't because they're not six years old. See how in this pickle? Mm. Ah! I usually don't eat pickles because it's a trigger, but I'm allowed today. Mm -mm. Can I, uh, yeah, you can. You can see it? Yeah. I want to see. There it is. I can take see. a picture. I want to okay. see. Okay, I'll take a picture. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta zoom out here. <laughs> Aren't that so fabulous? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. Vogue. Vogue. <laughs> Ow. Mom. What's that? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're on our way to go to the hospital to get this removed. I can't wait. Hey y'all! Well, I'm obviously looking normal now. No more tubes. Can you no tell more us monitor. She's happy? I'm not that happy. Can you tell us she's happy. Should I talk about my results or is that too much? Uh sure. Let them know, man. Let them know, let them know. Mm, mm. Let them know, let them know. <laughs> So I already mentioned that the nurse was able to tell me that my esophagus is weak, my sphincter muscles are weak, so that's already bad news. But in terms of the pH test, the machine was able to track 54 reflux episodes. The positive thing is that they were non-acidic, meaning that the medicine that I've been on for more than a year has helped me. And which is really good because if it is acidic, that would mean that it's erosive. So that basically puts me at risk for cancer. So it's a positive thing that is that it is non-acidic. Apparently, non-acidic reflux can still cause a lot of pain. And the nurse said that um, some people are just a lot more sensitive and more in tune with their body. So that's basically how I am. I pretty much still have to continue doing the same thing I've been doing. I still need to control what I'm eating. I'm, I still need to watch my diet and everything. Um, everything's still pretty, as of now, everything still stays the same. Um, still gonna continue on the medication. 
um, I might be on it for a while which at the end of the day like I can't complain and because of this particular medicine that I'm on I, I guess it robs you from calcium so my nurse was just saying to make sure I take my supplements and everything like that especially if I plan on having kids so it's both good and bad news I guess I am seeing my doctor in about two weeks so I'm not sure if she'll tell me anything different and I don't know if we're gonna do anything different from here but that's those are the preliminary results from the nurse I'm very happy it's all over I'm grateful for this man he woke up early the past few days to, to pick me up and keep me company at the hospital so I really appreciate that and yesterday we actually barely held each other because I guess to just prevent things from getting tugged